Robert, what do our conditions look like going in tonight and then waking up tomorrow morning? Yeah, it's going to turn not so quiet as we head through the overnight hours, already beginning to do so over parts of the area, and it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better as we head through the next 24 to 36 hours. A live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. It's still moving around just a bit with some breezy conditions that continue across not only the Fargo Moorhead area, but much of the region. 35 right now with those winds out of the southeast at 23 with some stronger gusts, giving us a wind chill of 23 degrees. Temperatures elsewhere across the region fairly uniform with lots of cloud cover around from the upper 20s into the middle 30s and those breezes will continue out of the southeast tonight. 10 to 25 miles per hour with some stronger gusts and we're seeing those gusts up to 30 miles per hour in Fargo. Also 30 mile per hour gusts up in the Grand Forks area. Cloud cover, lots of it. It continues to thicken on up over the area. Underneath these clouds, a lot of precipitation but most of it not reaching the ground. It's off towards the west where we're starting to get some of this beginning to reach the ground and as the atmosphere continues to moisten on up and saturate, we'll see more and more of this reaching the ground in the form of some freezing rain, some sleet, some snow as we head through the overnight hours and that will cause some slick conditions across much of the area. More moisture off towards the south. That will continue to move off towards the northeast and across parts of the area and we'll see even more develop late tomorrow and into tomorrow night. Lots of snow in the uh, higher elevations of the Rockies, the lower elevation rain and off towards the east. Whew. A lot of lake effect snow, sometimes uh, falling at the tune of two inches per hour. Overnight tonight, as the atmosphere continues to saturate, we'll see more and more precipitation in the form of freezing rain. Looks like most of it will fall in the form of snow up in northwestern portions of Minnesota. That area lifts off towards the north, and then we may see a break in the action for a few hours, and then more precipitation will start to form as we head through the day tomorrow in the form of primarily snow as we head through the day tomorrow. That will lift from south to north across the region with the heaviest amounts once again up in northern portions of Minnesota and eastern portions of our viewing area as we head through tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning. Winter weather advisory for much of the region. Freezing rain advisory for our western counties could see a tenth of an inch or so of freezing rain across many areas, maybe even isolated higher amounts. Here's a look at that in the darker pink. That's where you're going to approach the chance for maybe a tenth of an inch of ice or more and generally one to three inches of snow but in a few areas of Minnesota you could see upwards of four five and maybe six inches of snow here in Fargo we start off today with some freezing rain around possibly mixed with some snowflakes 30 degrees and not much of a warm-up tomorrow a few snow showers at lunch and then maybe some more steadier snow redeveloping later on in the day as we drive on home and in the mid 30s picture of the day thanks to Mercedes for sending this and a gorgeous shot of a steel county sunset we're going to use that as the background to our seven day forecast and yeah it's going to be a sloppy one on tuesday might have to battle some inclement weather for the holiday lights parade morning snow on your wednesday and could see a little bit more snow in the southern valley on thanksgiving day but after that looks like improving weather and near 40 by saturday maybe a good post thanksgiving turkey trot on friday oh, absolutely and you know shopping weather looks good on a friday good all right thanks robert mm -hmm. well an earthquake with preliminary magnitude